We now know the name of a postal worker charged in Monday's shooting right outside of D.C.'s Brentwood Post Office. Police say 25-year-old Davida Johnson shot a woman during an argument and were told the women knew one another. The victim is expected to pull through. And the charges come as postal workers from across the country rally for better working conditions. Our Mariel Carbone is live outside the USPS facility at La Enfant Plaza where hundreds demanded change today and Mariel better security in light of Monday's shooting is just one of their many demands. Yep, that's right. One of those biggest concerns, security, but also staffing shortages and what some union members call abusive management and toxic work environments. Now, at Thasmin and Chris, union leaders today say all of this really starts with the leadership at the top. I've been in the post office 28 years and I have never seen it as bad it is now. The short staffing, the consolidation. For Nanette Corley, working for the United States Postal Service has been great until recently. It is so toxic now. And there's another big problem post pandemic. Mental illness is real, but the managers that are now being promoted, they're not being trained, so they don't know how to handle controversy. So it sounds like security is a concern at work yes. for you. Corley was one of the hundreds of postal workers from around the country protesting outside Tuesday's USPS Board of Governors meeting, calling out Postmaster General Louis DeJoy's 10-year plan, now two years in, that cut and raised some postal hours and rates. We are the, new the meeting held just one day after a postal worker shot a woman at the post office in Brentwood, renewing a call by Congresswoman Eleanor Norton to install security cameras inside and outside all postal facilities. That would be a great idea to put security cameras. Things are starting to uh, pop off. Still inside the meeting, the Postmaster General touted improvements within the agency. Our service performance has increased steadily week after week. Our improvements to service have occurred because of and while making many significant changes to our operating conditions and strategies. A stark contrast to chance outside. The joy has to go. The 10-year plan isn't working. Now, DeJoy says that he has stabilized the agency by converting uh, more than 120,000 workers to full-time employees. Uh, Chris and Thasmin, as far as the security cameras go, Norton tried to get this passed last year, but at the time, a USPS said that it did not have the funds to actually make it happen. This proposed legislation would authorize uh, money to do that in those postal facilities across the country. Reporting live downtown, I'm Arielle Carbone, DC News Now.